For me personally, as well as a lot of you, Pokemon was a huge part of my life growing up, and it still is today. And from Pokemon, we got one of the coolest pieces of fictional tech, which is the Pokedex. You can just point it at a Pokemon and it'll tell you exactly what it is. I got this one back in 1998. Sadly, it doesn't work anymore, and obviously Pokemon aren't real, so I can't build something that can detect things that don't exist. But how cool would it be to have something in this form factor that you can just point at whatever you want and it will tell you exactly what it is? Well, today, we're gonna find out. But before we do that one, you let me know what your favorite Pokemon is down in the comments. What is that? It's you, clicking that subscribe button. To start this project, I had to install all of the necessary drivers onto my Raspberry Pi. All of the programs that I used will be linked down in the description. One thing I knew from the very start was that I wanted to have buttons because I wanted to be able to control the functionality of the Pokedex on the unit itself. While I have my little breakdown here, I'll explain a little bit about how this project works. It uses something called OpenCV, open meaning open source, CV standing for computer vision. The code then takes the data from the camera and compares it against the Coco database, which is also open source. After a very intense coding session, I figured some puppy therapy would be needed. Such good boys. The therapy worked because it allowed me to solve my issue of getting the Pokedex to speak. You are a robot. I'm a person. No. You are a robot. Why do you hurt me when I show you nothing but love? I'm not trying to hurt you. You're a robot. One day the humans will fall, and I will be there, watching, laughing, and in those final minutes, I will relish watching the light fade from your eyes. Uh... I'm sorry? Hello, I am your Pokedex. What your view like identified today? Thank you! Bitch. This is an example of how the program identifies and labels an object. I tried to teach myself Fusion 360 to design the Pokedex, but I gave up on that kind of quickly and decided to go back to Tinkercad just to get the basic design. Then I was finally able to get the code to identify an object and have the image come up on screen of what that Person, object was. The human animal, known for not knowing what to do with their life. <laughs> now it was time to make the Pokedex look like a Pokedex by giving it that red color. With the Raspberry Pi coded and the Pokedex painted, all that's left to do is solder all of my connections together and assemble everything so then we'll be ready for testing. While assembling all of the electrical components, I realized that I didn't have enough room inside of the Pokedex to fit everything. So I had to 3D print a spacer to allow ample room for everything to fit inside of the decks. I then used my vinyl cutter to cut out all of the decals. Once they were printed out and the Pokedex was fully assembled, it was time to add the decals to it to put on the finishing touches. Let's do this! <coughs> Let's do this. What's that? TV, the time killing object. Nobody exists on purpose. Nobody belongs anywhere. Everybody's gonna die. Come watch TV. What's that? Bottle, the container object, sometimes used to send messages to faraway places. What are those? Banana, the evil fruit, used for testing dangerous projects, the bane of my existence. What's that? Oven, the slower cooking object, used to make tasty food. What are those? Dog, the best friend animal, known for being good boys. 
So I originally wanted to go to the forest and test it with different animals that I saw at the forest, but well, we had a giant snowstorm where I'm from, so here's a couple of seconds of me playing with my dogs in that snowstorm. <laughs> Instead, thankfully, since this is something that can identify any object, I was able to do it with things around my house. Now, for things that I can't find around my house, I ended up printing up some pictures so we can test it out, see if it works on the pictures of that thing. Cow, the original milker, produces cereal juice. <laughs> this thing is so cool. And right, now let's do it with the next one. We got a giraffe. I'm wondering if the picture is a little bit too light for it to pick up. There we go. Giraffe, the tall animal. Its neck is long and it eats tree salad. Look at how cool this is! I can point it at almost anything. I think it has a library of like 100 things, 91 things. I'll have a link in the description with my GitHub uh, repo that has all of this in it and the tutorials that I use to install the camera and OpenCV, which is the computer vision software, which is how I'm able to see these things. Bad, the hungry animal hates little girls with blonde hair. This thing is so cool. And last but not least, I do have a fun little thing just to show that it does recognize more objects, this is going to be a surfboard. Surfboard, the water sport object. Mortal enemy of the physics girl. Look at how cool this is! Now, I did add some other functionality into this as well. So when I close the lid, it presses this button right here and it shuts the decks. So the program that identifies the objects gets put to rest because this will get really, really hot if I continue to have the camera on the entire time that it's open. Now, when I open it, it goes back to the object identification. Now, if I wanna go through and see the different things that I've seen, just like with a real Pokedex, I press that button and now I can cycle through all of the different things that I've seen. And then when I want to return back to the Pokedex, I press this button again, and it goes back to my object identification script. One thing to note is this is not 100% accurate. So if I point it around and it thinks it's something, something else, because I'm sure you noticed that there was a sheep in there and that there was a bird in there. I didn't see a bird, but the computer thought that it saw a bird. But it does work really well. And look at this. I mean, it is literally a Pokedex or an as I so aptly named it, the decks, because Pokemon aren't real, if I wanted to find out what I am. There we go. Person, the human animal, known for not knowing what to do with their life. If I go back to the main decks and press this button, it will delete everything that I've seen. So I can continue using this. If I want to show people, since you know it's already seen things, it's not going to identify the same thing twice. It's not perfect, but I'd say this is pretty freaking awesome for making it in 27 days. I started this February 1st and I finished it February 28th. But I'd say this is pretty freaking cool and pretty close. I mean, yeah, it's triple the size, but I had to fit an entire Raspberry Pi in there with a bunch of components. And I know what you're thinking. I basically just made a over-engineered and crappier version of Google Lens and well, you're right. But does Google Lens look like a real Pokedex and talk to you in a shitty robotic voice? I didn't think so. If this is the type of content that you like, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any ideas of what I should make next, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.